Saturday night baseball here on the show from AT&T Park in San Francisco. Tonight, game two of this three-game interleague series between the Chicago White Sox and the San Francisco Giants. It's interleague baseball on the show. And getting his final warm-up tosses in, the starter who they'll be up against, as you see his totals there on the right side of your screen. Into the box, Miguel Lopez. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Center fielder, Miguel Lopez. Hey, we got no out. And the first pitch of the ball game here is taken for a cold strike one. Harold, you take a look at the Giants as they begin play here tonight. They come in after another good win last time out that ran their record to start the season to a perfect 5-0. and Well, everybody's hyped. The crowd is hyped. The players were hyped. And the beauty of the night game when the ace is throwing gets people all day. This town has been buzzing talking about him being on the mound tonight. I'm excited to watch him throw. And the throw here is in time. Very nicely done there at short for the first out. Now a moment here to check out the White Sox starting lineup. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, I'm excited to see if that man in the sixth spot can keep it going. He's hitting over 400. Now hold on. I know it's just April, but that's really impressive. And if you're hitting 400 in the backyard playing wiffle ball, exactly. you're still doing right something fielder. pretty good. It's been a Ricky great start, Navarro. and I'm interested to see if he can feed off of it the rest of the way. And now pitch on the way. Ricky Navarro comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. The Mercury has dipped under 50, 49 degrees here at first pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Well, if you're wondering if he's going to be loose for this game, there's our answer. 98 in the first inning. He's going to be coming right after. Got him. Big curveball for the strikeout there, and that came after an absolute missile of a fastball. Even if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitcher's hand, it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good Not fastball. Only first the best baseman. can keep their hands back Jimmy on those. Nice first hit. chance for him here in the top oh, of the first with nobody on. And there's ball one. Man, he wanted that pitch, and I can't blame him. When you're facing a good hitter like this, you want that strike. You need that strike. It's 0-2 and instead of 1-1. One, one. Come on, guys. Ready with the 1-1 one, one pitch. A swing and a miss at the big curveball. And set up behind the plate is Kenny Jansen as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. Matt, Jansen's going to remind you of those brave games we used to watch with Maddox and Glavin and Smoltz from pitching because he got a wide zone. He's going to take us back to the 90s calling balls off the plate. Hit hard on the ground towards second. He'll whip this one to first in time and that ends the inning. Down in order go the White Sox. Now it'll be the Giants' turn, no score. Digging in now, number one, for the White he'll Sox. take his first hacks Shortstop. here. Number one. In there, no balls and a strike. That's a high strike on a curveball right there. If he continues to throw that pitch, we won't be mentioning his name very much longer in this game. He's going to have to get that ball down to be effective. The wind up and the 0 1. Uh, tried to pull that one back, but he couldn't do it, and it's 0 2 now. Hey, we got no outs. 
And the pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Let's take a look at the Giants' defense brought to you by Majestic. It's not often that you say the right fielder is the best defender on the team, but this guy stands right up there. He catches everything. He's a tremendous athlete. He makes the throws. He's got a cannon. Oh, my gosh. Wait till you see him throw. Fun to watch. At the plate, Richie Counting Castellano. Down. Catcher, Richie Castellano. Hey, come on now. Here we go. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Yeah, nothing better, huh, guys? I guess maybe the crack of the bat, but I'm not as partial to that as most people. He looks good and loose out there to start this one. Called strike two with the letters, 0 oh and 2 now. One down, one down. And he struck him out. Hey, every pitcher looks to get off to a good start. And I'd say he's off to a good start. How about the first five batters he's faced? Three of them he sent down via the strikeout. Batting Stepping in now, Second Glenn basement. Hope. Glenn Here's a fastball oh. chop foul at the plate at strike one. Will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0-2. Well he fouled that breaking ball off a little bit early. Timing not quite there. Had a fastball to pitch before. He just got out in front of that breaking ball. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. On the run is Tolles. He's there to track it down and that'll end the inning. So they go down without a whimper here. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two, and we are tied nothing nothing. In now, Danny Rain. He'll stand in to open Fielder. things up here in the third. Rain. Now here's the pitch. Third inning starts with a slider that's looked at here for ball one. Now that was a good pitch to lay off. When it starts on the outside half of the plate, that slider right there, you know it's going to continue to run off the plate. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Big, slow breaking ball, one that drops in for a strike. Here's the 1 and 1 delivery. Left side, Velasmil ranges to his left. And an offline throw, but he just does get back to the bag for the put out. Now at the plate, Luis Montano. Eight, third baseman, Luis Montano. Hey, we've got one right here. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Well, you're in trouble at the plate if you fall behind this guy, 0-2. So that was a good job to hold up right there. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Ramirez is right there, and that's out number two. Stepping up now, Ryan Quinn. Nodding ninth. Petra. Ryan Quinn. First delivery to him on the way. That's a and a curveball that started low and broke lower. Ball one. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the White Sox. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Oh. 
digging in the switch hitter, Nine number nine. 78. Enter. He readies for his first number plate appearance. 78. Come on now, rip it. And this is on the ground to first, could be two. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. And that'll bring in the speedy left-handed hitter, now Andrew Tolles. 0 for 1 here in the Andrew. early going. Oh. The 0-1 pitch. Here's a looping it, fly ball out way. to right. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base, and they're loaded with one away. Riding in once again, Alex right Batista. 0 for 1 for him here Alex in this one. Batista. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. Stepping in and ready now for another batting, shot, number, number 22. 22. And a golden opportunity here to give his guys the lead with three men aboard. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Navarro is after it, and that ends the inning. Giants leave them loaded. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Ready for another chance. Miguel Lopez. Center He'll try Tilbury. to get it going here Miguel to begin the fourth. Lopez. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Comes back with a fastball up and away that swung on and missed. 0-2. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. Matos retreats to the outfield grass, and he has it for round number one. Boy, he showed some pretty good range, heading pretty deep into the outfield to bring that one down. Thought the outfielder might call him off, but he clearly had it under control. Now batting, right fielder, Ricky Into Navarro. Into the box, Ricky Navarro. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. in there and it's 0 2 now you know it's great to be patient make a pitcher work and all that stuff to try to get walks but you have to be ready to hit and that was a really hittable pitch and now you've got to deal with an 0 2 count looking to punch him out again the pitch hit hard on the ground to second and the White Sox have their first hit of the game well, he started off with a couple pitches soft and then soft, and then he came back with a hard fastball right there. He was clearly sitting fastball the whole A.B. Couldn't trick him with the heater. Now batting, first baseman, Jimmy Tyson. Standing in now, Jimmy Tyson, as he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. 0 1, here's the pitch. Big tilt on the slider gets a swing and a miss. 91 mile an hour slider. Man, a lot. There's not many people that throw that one right there. That is the elite group right there. I would throw that pitch every time. And this one's in the dirt. And he'll rein it in as the count moves to 1 and 2. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. The one and two pitch. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. 
That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. And a oh, slider runs that? away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. This guy's a good hitter. He's seen a lot of pitches already, fouling balls off. But as the pitcher, I got to keep throwing him strikes. And if he hits it, hopefully it's at somebody. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Wow, this guy's mowing right through this lineup right now, but that's what happens when you don't get a chance to see a pitcher very often. That's one of the things that are helpful when you're pitching in interleague games. It's always a good advantage for the pitcher because the hitters don't get to see that guy very often. Now batting, number one. Into the box now, number one. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. In there and he's in control 0 2 now and then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah stuff stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it but he does and he really spotted that pitch hoping to send him packing pitch on its way the slider freezes him at the plate a called third strike and the inning comes to a close. A man left for the White Sox on to the bottom of the fourth now still with no score. Digging in to try it again. Richie the White Castellano. Sox. He's Answer. 0 for 1 thus Richie far. Castellano. And they go right after him on the inside corner for strike one. That's a good fastball down the zone. Now some hitters are good low ball hitters but that's exactly where you want to be. Swing and a miss, and he needs a little discipline here. 0 and 2. This guy's got a good mid 90s fastball working in this game. If they think they can catch up to that ball up there, it's going to continue to be a rough game for them. Fastball hey. called, strike three, and there's the first down of the inning. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Stepping in now, now Glenn it. Hope. Second baseman. As he looks at a fastball Glenn that's in there Hope. for strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 0 1 on its way. Skied into straightaway right. Batista moves over. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Digging in for his second at bat, the left Danny Rain. Danny Rain. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. I really like how he's getting ahead early in the count. He's Go pitching guys. aggressively, and what that does, it holds the pitch count down. Hey. Takes a curveball right on the corner. Now we got a 0-2 count, Matt. And I tell you what, so impressive. He is executing his game plan, going right on the outside half and exploiting those weaknesses. Swing and a liner. Foul. Here it comes on nothing and two. And he can't put him away on 0-2 as this is lined back into center field for a base hit. Back to back sliders. He fouled off the first one and the pitcher probably thought you know what I'll throw a better one this time and he just didn't execute it the way he was thinking he might. Here. Now batting. Third baseman. Luis In now. Montano. Luis Montano. As he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. So far 0 for 1 with a fly out. Hey, here we go. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Yeah. Takes a knee high fastball. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes. So now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. Here's the 0 and 2 and he struck him out his seventh of the ball game and that ends the inning. White Sox leave one 
halfway home still no score. At the plate number 78 reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. Hey get on for us here. First pitch coming here it is. And they'll start the at bat with a sinker as this is chopped fouled at the plate. Now I'm sure these infielders know it but this hitter can burn down the baseline so if he puts a ground ball in play the defense is going to have to make a perfect turn to turn two. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline but this will be a foul ball as he's behind Owen two now. Now, what time? Right here. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. You know, that almost works like a pitch out there. Maybe you get the guy to chase out of the zone, but at the very least, it gives the catcher something good to throw if the man on first is on the move. Hey, like you can up there, huh? Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Ramirez rounds third and is digging for the plate and not in time as the run scores. The pitcher was spotting his pitches effectively until now working the edges painting the corners but he left this one right over the plate and it cost him with an RBI extra base hit right there. Digging in once again Andrew Tolles he singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a looper to left. Reigns moving in. He can't get there as it falls in. Looks like the pitching coach might want to have a chat here. Not sure why the pitching coach is even going to the mound. This guy's been on cruise control the entire game. Might be he's just giving his pitcher a chance to catch his breath, regroup, and regain some of that focus. Digging in, Alex Batista, 0 for 2 on his line this far. Alex Batista. Ready to deliver the 1 and 2. Now a swing and he pops and him up. Way. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. Ready for another shot now, now number, 22. number 22 and we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Looking to keep this a one run game the pitch hit hard on the ground towards second he's right there throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. Back with more on this fine Saturday night following this. Into the box now, Ryan Quinn. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't Ryan found its groove Quinn. in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they could start making some adjustments. Matt, I tell you what, I love how he's pitching right now. He has continued to pound that first pitch for strikes. When you do that, you set yourself up for great success. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Now some action out in the Giants' bullpen as they'll have both the left-hander and a right-hander get loose. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ballgame. <laughs> He's just bringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. The batter. Into the box, Miguel, Miguel Lopez. Lopez. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. No hits to this point. And he misses with it one and one. One thing you try to do as a hitter is figure out what pattern the pitcher is pitching. I can't cover the whole plate. 
He's done a masterful job of pounding them on the outside half for strikes, and they haven't figured it out yet. Heading out towards shallow right, Batista has it in his tracks, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Digging in and looking for more, Ricky Navarro, a hit in two tries so far. Navarro. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Okay, here we go, guys. The wind up and the 0 1. And that one stayed too low, apparently. You're down here. Ball. And the slider stayed low, apparently, for a ball. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Ground ball right side. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Well, that's a perfect example of taking a ball inside out. You know, you hear that terminology stay inside the ball right there. He took a ball inside and shot it the other way for the base hit. Up next for Chicago, first baseman. Into the box Jimmy now, Jimmy Tyson, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. 0 for 2 for him to this point. 0 1, here's the pitch. Fastball that time is nowhere close, and it's even at one and one. Ready to deal. Here's the one one. Hard hit ball to second. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, they scored last inning. You thought that's what you want a shutdown inning. He comes out and he gets two quick outs, and now he finds himself in trouble with back to back hits. Hey, we got two. Two down. Now batting number one. Stepping in now, number one. Now a check swing, but he makes contact and hits it out in front of the plate. Pro won't get him. Well, he picks up a hit now in 11 straight games. Swing the bat pretty good. I, I love the adjustments he's made now along the way through this whole streak. Richie Castellano. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Richie Castellano is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Getting that first pitch strike is really important when you're dealing with the bases loaded behind you. Good job to give himself the advantage there. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Here's the 0 and 2 and he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here and the side is retired. White Sox will strand three. It remains one nothing. Ready once again Glenn Hope hey, no and guys seventh the inning already. Hey I'm not complaining but this one's been Glenn flying by. Oh. Yeah I'll agree with that Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all and they've trusted their defense to make the plays and they've done Here just run. that. Yeah and it's resulted in a game that no could really go either play. way in these late innings. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, two, oh, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one-run game, especially this late, Getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion the of the inning. So that was 34. a big out. Yeah, we see Danny a lefty and a right-hander starting to loosen up in the bullpen. Into the windup and the pitch. Danny Rains comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's one and zero. Oh. 
the windup and the 1 0 pitch. And you wonder about the control now as he misses high with a slider. Well, here's a guy we know is swinging it pretty well at the plate lately. And based on those last two pitches, I think I know why. He's doing a great job of putting himself in counts where he's likely to be successful. Outside, 3 0 now. One out, nobody on. Come on, fellas, let's go. Taking all the way, it's three and one now. Set to deal. Here's the three one. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Ramirez on the move. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Now to the plate, Luis Montano. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Here it comes. Here's a swing and a high pop up drifting toward the third base dugout. Velasmo is there to make the catch and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half. We've reached the seventh inning stretch here in San Francisco. It's the Giants one and the White Sox nothing. Into the box now number 78. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned the chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Here's the first pitch to him. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Around first, he's digging for second. And he's not stopping. He wants three. And he's in there at third with a one-out triple. Of course they feel good about the triple, but I know how manager's thinking. He's in the dugout wishing that triple would have come when some guys were on base. They've left a lot of guys out there in this one. We'll see if his teammate can bring him home. And that'll bring in the speedy left-handed hitter Bennett. Andrew Tolles. He's looking for hit number Andrew. three here in this oh. at-bat. Right side. Hope over to his left. And he will beat the tag. Safe at the plate. At the plate, Jermaine McQueen. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Hey, nobody. Into the windup and the pitch. Way in front of a great slider that time. Well, this offense finds themselves struggling right now, and they're down a few runs. They got to try to manufacture, get somebody on, maybe hit and run, and then you look for the big ball. Looks like right now everybody's swinging for the downs. They got to turn it around a little bit, play a little small ball, get it going. Strike two. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there, and it just seems like we've seen so many off-balance swings and weekly hit balls in this one. Stepping in, Miguel Lopez. Fourth Up trip to the, the plate shot. now, and he's Center headless fielder. to this point. Miguel yeah, he and his teammates Lopez. have really been shut down by some very good pitching in this yeah. one. Been fun for a guy like me to watch. Hey, and that's in there for strike one. The windup and the 0 1. A fastball right over the outside corner. You see there, the pitch count is up to 88. And at this point in the game, that's a good place to be. So I think we'll see him stay out there for at least a little while longer. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Oh, he might have got away with one. Two strike breaking ball that ended up being in the zone. I think he probably won that out of the zone, but fortunately, he just fouled it off. Uh, and he's just rolling right now and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. Boy, he's having a hard time just putting the ball in play right now. He took the hat trick with three strikeouts yesterday and here's another one today. Looks to me like he just needs to simplify his approach and focus on making some contact. Now batting. Standing in now, right fielder. Ricky Navarro. Ricky. No yes, he'll swing and hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. Right, guys, let's go. 
into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. A breaking ball over the outside corner for strike two. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. But no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. This is a well-conditioned pitcher right here. His stamina is showing up. He's still throwing in the high 90s, and it's late in the game. Hey. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More from the show. Saturday baseball following this message and a word from our local stations. Stepping up to the plate, Jimmy Tyson. He's going to lead things Get off the in their half of the ninth as they try to avoid the Jimmy dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. Objective number one right here is finding a way to get on base. So I'm not surprised to see him taking on the first pitch there. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there. And you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? On the ground, up the middle. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Striding in, number one. Now He's working on a one for three one. thus far. Into the windup and the pitch. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. Here's a late swing and a miss. Strike two. Trying to strike him out for the third time. Chopped foul over towards the dugout. Bases are empty. One man out. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out, and we're only in the second game of this series. Ready once again, Richie Castellano. He's their last shot here with two Chicago. away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Richie, yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Breaking ball for a strike, 0-1. Might have thought about it here, but he lays off the breaking ball inside. It's even at one. Boy, that's a great breaking ball right there. That's a tough pitch to lay off when that ball is coming in at that plane right there. Quality take. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. A crowd in excess of 37,000 come to their feet. Again, he sends it out of play. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two outs. Let's get out of here. Struck him out. out. And that'll do it tonight for the White Sox. Yeah, and we knew he was in a groove in the first inning, and he just kept this thing rolling and rolling and rolling. They couldn't get anything going against him. A dominant performance with a complete game shutout. And tonight's ends as a 3-0 shutout win. Number 78 earns the win his second with 15 strikeouts. Ryan Quinn takes the loss despite allowing only one unearned run. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more